got there? Hello. Uh, I'm Hayden, or I'm Wiki. I am Iago Quincy. I've been on the site for like since like 2006. Been productive some of that time at least. <laughs> I was 10 in 2006, so. But anyway, I'm... <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, a project I've been doing that's sort of wiki adjacent. Uh, it's called Sports Archive, um, and it's I can pull it up right here. It's uh, it's basically a site where I've been collecting all these old um, documents related to sports leagues. Uh, um, it's particularly major league, um, mostly U.S. focused because that's just I I don't know enough about sports elsewhere. Um, I'm collecting like documents. For example, uh, I can jump over to my hometown team, FC Cincinnati. Go orange and blue. Um, <laughs> and we've got say we've got our oh what's a good one to pull up? We've got our record books from like a few years ago, and I've got the the lovely uh, book reader plug in here that comes from uh, the Internet Archive. Uh, excellent uh, utility here. And I've just I've collected all these documents um, together because um, what I figured out is that teams just aren't saving their history. I think a lot of people in the room will know will have dealt with link rot and links going away. And, and that's obviously an issue. Another thing I run into is that the teams themselves, even if the link is down, they might not even have a backup. These are two emails I got when I was reaching out to teams trying to get um, their old headshots. And and these are two teams where even the team, they were willing to help me. They literally just didn't have the files anymore from just a few years ago. Um, and so uh, this is the progress I've made so far. I, I started in 2021. Uh, I've got about 11,000 documents, 21,000 um, headshots. Um, oh, I can feature the, the headshots function as well. That was originally why I started and did this as a separate thing from Internet Archive is I wanted the headshots function to be really good. So here is uh, my team in, in 2017. And if I want, I can go see, I can hit search, and then I can see this player's whole history and all the teams he's played for. <laughs> oh, some of them are, um, some of them are pretty funny, uh, how they, how much they've aged. Uh, here he is today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's been my progress and where I'm getting these, um, the, the main source is, um, uh, is official websites. Of course, I'm also, um, a lot of these websites will have, uh, backend, uh, APIs. I'll show that. So let's see, this is the website. Uh, this is a, a minor league soccer team called the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, uh, and their website uses WordPress. And we can actually, we can dig into the back end of the WordPress site. This is a, a tool that makes it easy to look in the API. And this is every file that has ever been uploaded to their website, even if they don't have a link to it anymore. So for example, here are their game notes from their game that is today. Actually, it's this evening. And so th this link is probably still on their website, but if I scroll way down, the link from 10 games ago probably isn't still on their website, but we can still get it this way. Yeah. How do we disable that APR. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> that's a that's a good question, and I I hope the the teams never uh, find the answer to it. It would be <laughs> my <result. laughs> Yeah, I mean the the real solution is for them to delete documents they don't want people accessing. Yeah, what's up? Uh, so I'm not being very familiar with uh, some of the kind of sports terminology here, but can you for everybody show me a guide here? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I can absolutely, I have a page on the website that explains it, but I can I can summarize it briefly. Um, yeah, these are the different types of documents I have. I have a whole list. A media guide is every season, um, at least in big leagues, uh, smaller leagues, whether or not they do it is a difference. They'll have um, a document at the beginning of the year that's like, here's all the players, here's all the staff, here's all our history. It's just, it's just like, here's everything that anyone working in press would need to know about this season. But it just, it's a really great historical artifact of what was going on that year for that team. Um, the, the game notes one is, is sort of the same thing, but a smaller version for every single game um, that they'll put out. And yeah, it's, it's, I have a bunch of different types of documents that I'm going after. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, another, another trick I use to find documents is uh, Google dorking, which is, it, there's some, some of these advanced utilities you can use in uh, Google. Uh, this is a site that the NFL about 20 years ago used to use to put out press releases. 
and they don't have it linked anymore, but I uh, searched for every PDF on the site and I was able to find all these very old press releases. This one I, I always find fascinating. Uh, Roger Goodell is still the lead commissioner, but um, that's how it, and this is uh, one of the many ways I'm able to find this stuff. And uh, recently I've dived into um, physical media. I've started getting um, some most, mostly from eBay, uh, some of my stuff that I just gathered over the years. Um, in particular, my big area of focus has been the, uh, the, the predecessor to Major League Soccer, the North American Soccer League. Um, every none of this stuff was online, really. I mean, there's like newspaper articles and stuff you can find, and there's a lot of fan sites. But if you want to like actually go dig in and find like a program from back then, uh, very little of this was online. And so I've been uh, slowly scanning all this in. Yeah, yeah, they were they were short lived. There was actually a campaign when Philadelphia got their major league soccer team, the Union, for them to be named the Adams. It it did not succeed, but it was a valiant effort. Uh, how much of this material, uh, I guess most of the, 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 the raw material, you can reference from Wikipedia. Yeah, exactly. That's actually, I was just... Really upload to the Commons or anything. Yeah, so it's, it's um, in the U.S., since that's mainly been my focus, a lot of pre-1989 stuff is actually public domain if it didn't include a copyright notice. And sport, sports teams are better about it now, but... Back then, they didn't oftentimes did not include a copyright notice in their media guides or any other materials like that. Um, this is on Commons. Uh, this is yeah. one of my favorite pages on Commons, the hurdle Very chart. Familiar. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, depending on certain conditions, if it's before March 1st, 1989, it can, in some cases, be public domain. Um, and so I have, uh, I now have a category that I've made on Commons of stuff that I've transferred. Um, and here are the statistics from that. It's I haven't done a ton of work moving to Commons yet. That's sort of an area that's new for me. But uh, I've got about, yeah, 360 total uses, including 73 on NWiki. Uh, I'm also starting to cite it in articles. This is an article I wrote uh, last year or earlier this year, I believe. And I've got it. Um, I'm citing it right here. So I had it as a source for, I couldn't find this anywhere else online. This The fact that he uh, won this playoff. And so I was able to cite uh, my own site. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm not, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't cite my own content, but I, it's the only place that content exists online. You're citing a document that you just yeah, I'm just the person who scanned it. I, I, uh, yeah. um, yeah, so I just wanted to share my site. If anyone's interested, please come find me. I'd love to talk about this stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's up? So, so question in one way, but um, so what's the dividing line between um, taking advantage of an API that they exposed and perhaps inadvertently forgot to link the file versus illegally hacking the site? Um, yeah, it, it's it, I, there can be a gray line there. It's it's my feeling is is that I'm not I'm not trying to get any documents that, that they didn't intend to be public. It's it's more that they're not making the it takes a concerted effort to keep an archive going and they're not really putting in that effort but that doesn't like they put that those game notes out there on purpose they just they just didn't mean to keep giving them out you know yeah they just i mean he's not guessing anybody's password yeah you know he's not uh, breaking any law or that it's it's i could i could get the same result by having like a bot hit their site every single day and download the links this is just this is just making it easier for me to not have to spam them with a bot. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. But if somebody like you know yeah. come, comes up to my front door and, and, and twiddles some little pieces of, of um of metal inside my door lock and the door happens to open up and they walk into my house, you know, how how is that any different from you, you know, sending instructions to their API that they didn't intend for you to send? Um, I yeah, I, I I get where you're coming from. Um, it it's you know it's it's a gray area. I it's I deliberately all over the site. I make it very easy to contact me if any team has a problem with what I'm doing. They I I very easy to reach out and have me take anything down. I, I'm sort of in, in the same space as the Internet Archive where I'm uh I I don't have permission to put this stuff up, but I'm I'm just like ask, better to ask for forgiveness than permission is is sort of the route I'm taking. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.